All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Seth. What's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. We jumped in here a little early. Make sure we get set up right. It is a beautiful gray Wednesday here on the East Coast where I am, wherever you're listening on this uh, Wednesday, April the 6th. I hope um, I hope things um, are going well for you. Hope things are going well for you. Got a good show today. We're going to talk about, Seth, why everything we do matters and every word we say bears fruit. We're going to dive into that. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to dive into that today, you know. And uh, so if you're listening here at Fireside, welcome, you beautiful Fireside people. If you're listening to, on any other platform, thank you for joining and, and thank you for, um, for, for being a part of, of what we're doing here. Thank you for supporting the Unstoppable Podcast, Unstoppable Fireside platform with Ralph Graves Jr. So good to have you here. Seth, I want to start with, um, and like I said, I know I'm early, but I want, I want to start with why why everything we do matters you know there, there's not one thing that we do that doesn't matter and um i, I want to talk about that i mean um one of the things is life is full of actions and reactions actions and reaction to every action there's a reaction you know with how we greet one another there's a reaction with that how we deal with one another there's a reaction we could set out you know um, I read a book a long time ago by, um, hey, Randy, how you doing, man? Thanks for, for listening. We're talking about why everything you do matters. I read a book a long time ago by um, John Maxwell, and um, it's about influence. And you influence up to 21 people a day, period. Hey, Jill, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for jumping on. Uh, everybody for coming for coming on. Everything, you know, um, I'm looking at people jumping on. Everything we do matters. I mean, we influence up to 21 people a day, up to 21 people a day, just in an interaction from from the interaction of of a, a cashier and customer of, of you pumping your gas. You influence up to 21 people. You might say, well, Ralph, how do I do that? Your interaction with them might trickle down to their next interaction with the next person. Or maybe when they get home, uh, you, you may... Um, You may have influenced the way they, you know, treat those around you. So everyone, those around them, everyone around you and everyone you and I come in contact with, we influence their behavior. So everything that we do, it matters. There's a reaction. You know, a a kind word might set somebody's day, you know, might really set them up to go in the right direction. An evil word or a, a, a negative confrontation could set the day in the opposite direction. Everything we do matters. We are a community. We may look different. We might have different religious beliefs. We might we might eat different foods. We might not agree politically, but everything we do matters to one another, to one another. Seth, what do you think about that? One of my mentors used to tell me that uh, how you do every how you do anything is how you do everything, and it's yeah. kind of this perspective, this approach to life of um, you know paying attention to the details, but also understanding you know how you show up in the small things is how you're going to show up in the big things, and yeah, I think it's I think it's huge, and it's really interesting that you said you know we influence up to twenty one a day. I, I don't know if we often think about all the. Just uh, all of the little, little interactions, you know, just before, just before this call, you know, my wife called me on the way to work and just like little things like that, where it's like, oh, how are we yeah. showing up? Are we showing up with diligence? Are we showing up, you know, as our full selves? Uh, Tina mentioned in the comments, the butterfly effect, which is this concept that says that uh, when a butterfly flaps its wings in Brazil, it causes, uh, yeah, like a tornado in Texas or a hurricane somewhere else in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's true. Because, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I, I believe that. I mean, how I treated um, the, the cashier at Manhattan Bagel today. <laughs> I stopped in Manhattan Bagel. Why didn't you take me to Manhattan Bagel when I was out there last week? That sounds good, man. Man, I, I couldn't take you everywhere, man. Next time, next time, I'm going to take you to Manhattan Bagel. <laughs> My little, one of my little, one of my little secret spots. But how I treated her, how it probably affected how she treated the the guy on the grill. 
and how he gets treated might affect how he treats, you know, someone on the bagels and how they affect them. So it's up to 21 people you can influence a day based upon a two minute interaction with you, a two minute interaction with you. We're all in this community. So how you treat people matters. What you do matters. Let's go, let's, let's take it further. Like you said, not just how we treat people, how you do one thing is how you do everything. I'm a Bible believer. The Bible says in the book of James that um, an unstable person is unstable in all their ways. You're not just unstable in one way. <laughs> You're unstable in all of your ways. So if I want to be disciplined, you know, mo- normally a disciplined person is pretty disciplined in all their ways. An unstable person is not, it's not stable in anything. And, you know, they kind of, you know, do things halfway. Don't do it all the way. So what we do matters what we do matters now i'm gonna i have a i have a i came up with with 10 reasons why I probably won't get to all 10 but i think they're good topics of discussion you guys can jump up on stage thank you tina marwan uh revolution randy uh and seth is here. so you guys I, I welcome you guys on up uh and well, let's talk about this why everything we do matters first of all one of my uh points that i wrote down is just just makes you a better person if you pay attention to how you do things, if you recognize that what I say and how I do this assignment, how I handle this task will have influence on other people's days and other people's way of life, even if just in a minute way, it does make you a better person. It does make you a better person. How you do something, it matters. And I was trying to think of things that I could do and it doesn't matter. Guys, I can't think of anything that really doesn't matter. I started thinking about, does it matter how I cut my lawn? Does it matter? You know what? Does it matter if I blow the clippings either into the street or, or back into my yard or do I pick up the, you know, it, it, might, it matters. Those things matter. It matters to the neighbor. It matters to, it, it just matters. I, I couldn't think of anything that I do that doesn't matter. I, it, I can't think of it. Okay, Seth, can you think of anything you do that doesn't matter? There's probably a lot of things that when I'm when I'm doing them or how I'm approaching them, in my mind I'm thinking they don't matter, but in the long run they do. I think, yeah. you know, these little details throughout the day that we don't necessarily approach with diligence, but uh, those stack up on top of each other and, you know, they affect. It might actually be significant or it might be something insignificant that, you know, builds up and affects our mood to how we approach something more significant later in the day. So it, it all compounds. Um, but, you know, right now I'll stand here and I'll say, yeah, I think everything matters. But uh, yeah. in two hours yeah. when I go to do some little task and don't give it my all, that I'll, I'll probably be convinced that it doesn't matter, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why we're here. That's why yep. we're here on this fireside chat and we're talking about it and, and, and we're having this, this podcast about it. We're talking to some wonderful people about it. It it will make you a better person. If if anything else, you become more disciplined in everything that you do. I'll turn the assignment in on time. I'll 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 make sure that, that what I'm doing is correct. It just makes us a better person. Um anyone want to jump on stage before I go to my next point? Anybody? Love to hear from you guys. Love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear some stories from people on like, are there moments where that you can think of from your life where something seemingly insignificant had uh, ended up having a huge, huge impact? Tina, welcome. Hi, Seth. Hi, Ralph. How are you? Hi. Wonderful. Good. So this weekend, uh, went to go get some new running shoes, went to one location and there were 12 people in front of us. Uh, my family was there. So we decided to go to another place that we had not been in 12 years, ran into someone I used to work with at my old company, and she just resigned three days ago and was looking for part-time work. And I haven't seen her since 2017. And we had a discussion and I'm bringing her on board. And she said she was going to go to another shoe place, but she saw the building of the one that we were in said, I've never been there before. I'm going to go try that out. And we bumped into each other. And she said, thank you for changing my life today. Wow. Everything you do, even down to where you shop matters. I call that, Tina, a divine connection. It matters. It matters. That's an awesome story. It mattered. You, for some reason, all of you ended up at that store 
and you were able to be a blessing to someone and for her to say, you changed my life just because we, it, it matters. Right. <laughs> it matters. It, it, nothing we do today won't matter. It will matter. I don't, it, it's just one of these universal laws. It's just one of these universal laws. It matters. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Tina. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else have a story? Anybody else want to jump up on stage? I mean, this stuff is, is some, it matters to me because you guys are setting the tone for my day. When we get off this call, I still have to deal with some people, but you know what? This call mattered and makes a difference. And maybe my outlook and, and how I deal with people the rest of the day will, uh, it's, it's affected by what we talk about here today. Um, another point that I've written down is this, and let us think about this. There's, there's a probability that we will reach our highest potential despite our overwhelming circumstances if we take into consideration that everything matters. All of us at the sound of my voice wants to reach their highest potential. We want to reach our highest potential in the world. Listen, you're not on platforms like this. You're not listening to podcasts like this. You're not, you're not producing them. You're not being on shows or producing shows if you did not want to reach your highest potential. And so if we face it like everything we do matters, we might have some overwhel overwhelming circumstances coming our way. But because what we do matters and we take into consideration that it matters, we will still reach our highest potential. We're not having a defeatist attitude. We're not, you know, we understand that life has all kinds of ups and downs. I, I did something on resilience, but we can go back and listen to that another time. But it begins to really matter what we do. And then somehow you and I will reach our highest potential in spite of overwhelming circumstances when we care about the details. When we care about the details. I think Seth said it earlier about the compound effect. When we care about the details and how it matters. It matters how we it matters how we do everything. It matters how I wash the dishes, guys. It it matters that I leave a a, a cup in the sink dirty when I have the opportunity to wash it then and there. It matters. It could change the way my wife feels when she comes home. For, she left the kitchen clean. Why must she come home and it be dirty? It matters. <laughs> it matters. Come on up, Randy. Hey, man. How you doing today? Wonderful. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, I was just, that really resonated with me about it matters. Um, it matters how you see yourself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If you if you see yourself, you know, as a as a as a winner, then yeah, you're going to do things differently. But if you see yourself as one that's always has bad luck or something like that, then you're going to treat people differently. So I think it's it matters how you feel on the inside too, because what you feel on the inside is going to shine outside and and really reflect to other people. I totally agree. I agree. And, and I and I always start the day off with a little uh, practice, and I, I mean I, don't, I, don't, I hate to carry on, but <laughs> go ahead, uh, go ahead, please. Uh, uh, you know, just just for today, I'm going to be kind to every living being. You know, it's just for today. You can do anything just for today. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, just, and that's and, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So and all, that resonated with me about you know it matters, and I was thinking, yeah, it matters really how you see yourself. It really does. Yeah. And I like that attitude with just for today. I have no idea what tomorrow's going to bring. But today, yeah, I can make a commitment to be kind to everything and every living being that comes my way. I can make that commitment today. I have no idea what tomorrow's going to bring, and yesterday is it's gone. Yeah. But today, I like that. I like that. Yeah, even just for now, we can make that commitment. Just I'm, I'm going to be kind to to everyone just for now. You know, just yeah. just right now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, it's anyway. That's I just want to throw that in there. Well, thank you, thank you thank for, for jumping up, man. Thank you for, for me. anybody else want to come up. Maybe a story. Maybe, maybe there's something you like to share, but we're talking about why everything we do matters and, and we'll, hopefully we can get to it, why every word we say bears fruit. You know, there's not a word that'll come out of your mouth that doesn't bear fruit somewhere. It, it's going to bear fruit somewhere. It, it's, either, it's either going to speak life or speak death into something. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. <laughs> so we have to be so, so aware of what we're speaking and so aware of how we're doing things to where um, it's just, it's just who we are. It's just a part of our lives. It's a part of our lives, part of our lives. Okay. Um, Seth, anything before I go to my next point? I love. What no, this is good stuff. 
I, I love what Randy said, man, about today I'm going to make a commitment for today to be kind to every living being that passes passes me. I yeah. love that. Yeah, it's a daily approach. And it's a, I like, I love that word commitment. You know, it's something that you're not, nothing happens by accident. You know, we're not going to hit our goals by accident. We're not going to live the day with kindness by accident. Um, you know, it can become habit over time. Um, yeah. But that habit builds by being intentional with it and approaching each day and saying, okay, everything I do matters today. Yeah, yeah. When we have this attitude, everything that I do matters today. And every word I say uh, bears fruit. When we keep that in mind, it will make sure that we lead a fulfilling life. You want to lead a fulfilling life? Eh, you know, take into consideration everything matters. Everything we say uh, bears fruit. You, you will lead a fulfilling life. And, you know, I talked about in the prior point, we'll reach our highest potential and we'll lead a fulfilling life. I mean, life is more, guys. Listen, I want us all to be comfortable. I want us all to uh, have the things that we need. Um, um, but, you know, whatever you define success to be for you, then that's what it is for you. And I, and I, I thank God for that. I want you to hold on to that. Uh, but but if long as we're doing, as long as we're approaching with the attitude that this matters, what I'm doing right now, our life will be fulfilling. Our life will be fulfilling. You know, what? one day you and I are going to take that last breath. And I don't want to take it with any regrets. <laughs> I want to take it knowing that, wow, I was, God gave me the gift of life and it was a fulfilling life. There were some things, and this is one of the things that are left up to you and I. This is left, how we approach the day, how we do things. This is left up to you and I. This is not up to anybody else. Randy said, I made a, I'm going to make a commitment to be kind to every living being today. That's up to him. That has nothing to do with anybody else. That's what Randy can control. Randy said, no matter what comes my way today, today I'm making that commitment. And so when we live life like that, when we live life with intentionality, if that's a word, I believe it is, um, <laughs> it, it will make sure that we lead a fulfilling life will you be on time to your appointments will you will you treat people kindly will you, will you start meetings on time will you respect other people all of that stuff leads to a fulfilling life fulfilling life um, when we live life like this it allows us to take uh take heed on the suffering of life and lessen it to the point that one day suffering ends what are you talking about graves it means that you know what there is trouble in the world there is suffering in the world there's things going on but how I do things matter. How can I relieve that suffering for someone today? How can I relieve that suffering for uh, somebody in the world today? You don't know who is going through what, but everybody's going through something. Will an interaction with you be positive or negative? You can control that. Will an interaction with you be a positive interaction or a negative interaction? You know, it, it, this, again, we can control that. There is enough suffering in the world. Will you add to it or will you help relieve someone's suffering or situation suffering just by your presence and just how you do things and, and, and how you conduct yourself? These are the different opportunities we have when we talk about everything that we do matters. Guys, I, I, want, I don't want to do all the talking. Guys, jump on up. We got a few minutes left. I got some more points left. But come on, jump, jump up on stage and maybe you have a story on on um, how you see this or how you, so maybe you never looked at it like this before. Maybe you didn't take into account that even how I, 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 I treat, you know, my dog matters, how I treat my pets, it matters. You know, everything we do, it matters, it, it matters. Seth, any comments on this point, man? No, yeah, I think, I think you're saying it, you're saying it well. I'd love to, love to hear from some others and hear some of the other, points that you got with this yeah i know yeah, i'm gonna be yeah. starting my day a little different after this conversation how about this how about this one guys it's the only way to really give gratitude to god for the gift of life all right you know it's to say you know we talk about being a good steward we talk about you know saying an attitude of gratitude um when i'm doing everything uh the right way and knowing that it matters i'm saying thank you for the gift of life I'm saying thank you. I'm saying to God, I'm saying to my creator, you did not waste your time creating me. You did not waste your time creating me. I'm going, I'm going to do the best I can 
in every area of my life, the best of my ability, because it matters to me. And that's my way of showing gratitude to you. That's my way of showing gratitude. And I'm telling you, this is one of those universal laws, universal principles. You know, I think I, I don't know if I no, I did not add that one in my book when I uh, wrote Unstoppable. But uh, gratitude will unlock so many doors for you. Just a position of gratitude. Just a position of gratitude. How do I show gratitude? You know, it's, it's how I do things. It's how I care for things. It's how I say thank you to my creator for allowing certain things into my life, certain people in my life. It's how I care for them. Gratitude opens up a lot of doors. So it matters how I do things. I was sharing with my cousin the other day, and I don't know if you guys saw my bio. Yes, I do pastor a church, right? I was sharing with my cousin the other day. He was complaining about his car and this, that, and the other thing. Then I said, listen to me, man. He was talking about, about stewardship and we're talking about cars. I said, listen, um, if you are not doing right by the hoopty that you do have, how can you expect God to open up a way for you to get something better? Stewardship is showing gratitude. He said, well, cuz, how do I show gratitude? Well, get the oil change before you're 5,000 miles over the last one that you were supposed to get changed. You're showing gratitude for what you do have. It shows the it shows the world. It's a positioning of your heart that you're ready for what's next. That's all I'm trying to say to all of you here. Show gratitude for what you do have. In other words, I'm doing everything to the best of my ability because it matters. And I'm showing gratitude for what I do have. And I'm letting know my creator that I am ready. My heart is ready for what's next. Maybe some of us haven't made the breakthrough. Maybe some of us haven't gone to the next level that we want to go to because our heart is not right. It's, it's our, 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 this gratitude thing. We don't, we don't think it matters that we show up five minutes late. It matters that you're five minutes late. We don't think it matters that, that, um, you know, uh, we turn in assignments late or we, or, or we treat people we, we don't see the connection between treating the gas station attendant. Well, out here in Jersey, you still got to pump your own gas. I mean, people pump your gas for you. We don't see the, the, the connection between treating a gas station attendant and um, walking into the boardroom. We don't see that there's a connection there. There is a major connection there. It shows the positioning of your heart. Am I making sense, Seth? Am I making sense here? I mean, I've never thought about that before, of using – like how we approach tasks being a form of gratitude. But I think that's yeah, so yeah. true. You know, how, how am I supposed to be grateful for something if I'm not taking care of it? I, the, the example of the car is great. Yeah. You know, if I'm grateful to have the car, um, you know, usually if I'm grateful that I have something, I'm aware that it can be taken away. Um, right. I'm aware. <laughs> I think there's some aspect of gratitude that taps into this piece of, you know, realizing that everything is temporary and that what we have, we don't necessarily deserve and it might not be around forever. And so I think that's going to help us to have a stronger approach um, yeah, to it. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm, I, I'm grateful for the work I do. I'm grateful for the clients that I get a show um, that I get to yeah. work with. But, you know, if I'm missing over tasks and I'm not getting done what I need to get done, then I'm not really showing that I'm grateful for it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's, it's this whole gratitude thing, you know, so what we do matters. What we do shows gratitude, shows gratitude. I know you want the 3,000, you know, square foot house. You want the five bedrooms. But if the one bedroom apartment is messy, how, how, you know, come on, you can't handle the next level. So <laughs> be good stewards. How we do everything, it matters. It matters. It matters. It shows gratitude to our creator that... Uh, for what we have, for what uh, uh, he has allowed us to have. Uh, anybody else want to come on stage? Anybody else come on stage? We've got a couple minutes left. Just sharing with you guys why everything we do matters and every word we say, it bears fruit. When you're talking to people today, whatever words you say, it's going to bear fruit. You're either going to encourage somebody or you're going to shoot somebody's dreams down. You're either going to, uh, to, to speak life into a situation or, or you're going to speak death into a situation. I wrote somewhere the other day, you know, um, we have a habit of doing that. Um, we have to be so mindful of our words because there is some of us are addicted to being right. And since we're addicted to being right, we always have to say a word on something that really doesn't 
take, it really doesn't need us to speak on it. And with this addiction to being so right, sometimes we can speak life or we can speak death into something. And newsflash, as bright as all of you are on this on this platform, none of us are always right. But we have this addiction to being right all the time. But anyway, so we have to be careful and we have to mind our words and understand that this interaction, when somebody comes into my office today, this interaction, even if there's something we need to go over and something we need to 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 kind of to kind of uh, uh, straighten out, uh, we might have a confrontation. That's another thing. Confrontation is not a negative word. Confrontation just means we're straightening something out. Confrontations do not have to be negative. And so, when they leave the office today, will they feel alive, or will they feel, you know? Did I did I tear them down? Did I destroy them, or, or or vice versa? And so every word we speak and how we do things matter because when they leave us, they're going to go deal with other people, you know. And so uh, we gotta we gotta be so careful about that. So careful about that. Um, here we go. Next one. It will help you live free of negative influences. When you understand that how I do this matters, a negative influence will be like water on a duck's back. It'll roll off. Because I know as much as you say it doesn't matter, I know that what I'm about to do matters. It matters somewhere, somehow, to somebody. And me doing it right the first time, we'll say that the shortcut is doing it right the first time, right? Quickest way to do something is doing it right the first time. Shows gratitude to my creator or whomever you believe in. It shows gratitude to my creator. So it does matter. And so when I hear something negative, when a negative influence is trying to infiltrate my mind, infiltrate how I do something, when someone says, oh my God, that's so stupid. I don't know why you did it that way. How I do it, it matters. What I say, it matters. It matters. It matters. We hear influences every single solitary day. You guys, we will get influenced by the things we listen to, by things we see on TV. But if I'm paying attention to how I do things, it'll help that negative. It'll help me repel that negative influence so I don't walk around with that negative vibe, that negative vibration all day long, all Mm. day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth, how do you feel about that one? Yeah, I think it's good. I, I was thinking as you were saying that, that I I think part of the reason people that we probably do a less than stellar job at things is we're probably trying to do too many things. So you know, I think you we, we get in this we get in this mode where we're under we feel like we're underperforming or we're not approaching everything with gratitude and different things. And it's probably because we're trying to do one hundred things a day. So it's yeah, interesting because yeah. I think it we'd probably all be better off if we did less things but showed up with the attitude that everything matters than, you know, doing everything at 50%. Um, yeah. But it's challenging to get there. Cause you know, we feel like, I don't know, we feel like we got to do it all, but I know I've been surprised over the last year as I've just tried to do less things and tried to be more focused um, from the work side. I'm able to make more of an impact, but then on the personal side too, I'm less strained. So I'm able to show up with more intentionality. So yeah, I, I think we get, I think we derail ourselves with some of this stuff because we're trying to do too much. I think we need to do a show of, about less is more. <laughs> yeah. That would be good. Less is more. It really is. Less, less is definitely more. It allows us to uh, do meaningful work that matters and doing it right and not hurrying through just to get to the next thing because I took time. So I took this off my schedule instead of having 10 things to do. I got six things to do and I can do them right because they really, really matter. They really, and the other things will, it'll, it'll get done. It'll get done. So yeah. 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 Last, last way, last thing I want to talk about tonight, uh, today, so not tonight, last thing I want to talk about today, last point I have is that, um, you become, an asset to society. When you do everything like it matters, you become an asset, not a liability, but you become an asset to society. You become an asset to your company. You become an asset to your family. Um, you, you become an asset to your, to your friends. You become an asset to society because they know 
that if it's your assignment, it's going to get done right. They know that if it's your assignment, it's it's you do it like it really matters to you and it matters to the overall community because you know that it does. You know that it does. Everything we do, ladies and gentlemen, it matters. Everything. There's not one thing you will do today that that will not matter. Um, I put the question out there earlier. If you could think of something that doesn't matter, please jump up on stage and tell us what that is because I can't think of anything that doesn't, anything I do that doesn't matter. I can't. I can't think of anything I do that doesn't matter. And um, since no one jumped up on stage and presented that, then I don't think none of us can think of anything that we do doesn't matter. Everything that we do matters. What's next week? Next week, we're, uh, we're kind of continuing this conversation in a way. Next week, we're going to talk about, what did I write down? Okay, next we're going to talk about some small changes that make a big difference in your life. Just some small changes. We know that everything we do matters. Every word we say bears fruit. They're going to be, now, now, in the next week, we're going to talk about maybe three or four, maybe five, small changes, small things that we can do that make a big difference in your life life. So I hope you guys will join us next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys will be here. Um, guys, thanks for jumping on. Guys, go to my website, Ralph at RalphGravesJr.com. Join the Unstoppable community. Um, I'm on every social media platform there is, RalphGravesJr.com. If you want to get on the podcast, go jump on over wherever you get podcasts, uh, Spotify, uh, um, Apple, wherever you get podcasts at. And check out the podcast, Unstoppable Ralph Grace Jr. We've talked to some wonderful people um, who've gone through some some great things and um, just sharing their stories. And if you'd like to be a guest, if you'd like to be a guest on that program, reach out to either myself, Ralph at RalphGraceJr.com, or Seth at StoryOn.co. StoryOn.co. And we'll tell you how to get on. And I'd love to sit with you for about a half hour, 45 minutes and tell the global community your story. Seth, we're up to, we're up to 80 something episodes now, right? 80 something, somewhere around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't wait to get to the hundred. I can't wait to get to episode 100, you know, and just celebrate that. Um, but guys, that's where we are. That's where I am. Jump in over there. And I'd love to see you guys over there. But until